Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be redoing my walkthrough on Five Nights at Freddy's. Um, I hope I can make this last through the, um, all seven of the main games, and maybe even possibly some of the fan games that I enjoy playing. Um, but this is gonna be a guide on how to survive. So, um, first things first, I wanna say, um, here, I'm gonna mute phone guy. I'm gonna mute him whenever it pops up. Come on. Alright. Phone guy. There we go. Okay, so first things first, I want to say headphones are not required for this game, although you will need them in later games. Um, more specifically, in FNAF 4 and in FNAF 6, you are really going to want a pair of good headphones. Otherwise, you will die. I'm telling you now, if you don't have a good pair of headphones for FNAF 4, most of 5 and 6, you will die. And 7, actually. <laughs> Basically, after three, you need to have good headphones. But, um, today I'm going to be showing you guys. I'm going to be starting off with the first game, obviously. And this is going to be a guide on how to survive the first night. Now, the first night, there's not really much happening. So, I mean, I don't really have to do this. But, you know, I want to go through every single night. Um, going through a strategy to help you complete the night. Or the best working strategy, at least that I know of and that I've tested. Um... As to how you are going to survive your night in Five Nights at Freddy's. So, at night one, you don't really need much of a strategy. Although, I am still going to teach you guys a little basic strategy that we are going to use um, for the start. For the starting night. So, um, basically, at night one, you don't have to worry about any of the animatronics moving. Because all their AIs are set to zero until 2 a.m. on this night. Uh, not on every night though only this night on the first night all of their AIs are set to zero So you don't have to worry about them moving so I'm gonna go ahead and cover the basics So as you can see here we have here. I'm gonna turn down the volume in my headphones. All right, um But like I said headphones are obviously headphones are very helpful in the first three games even though you don't need them They are very helpful, but like I said after four and after till seven you you do need a good set of headphones in order to um, be successful in the games. So, let's go ahead and cover the basics now. So, as you can see here, you will be spawned into this office. Um, and you can see there's a left door, left light, right door, right light, cameras, and your power and usage buttons that are over there. Um, those are These are all the things you need to know before... You get into the game so let's go ahead and start going over them so the first things first the door and the light are self-explanatory but basically what a lot of new players do is they think that if say bonnie is outside is in this camera right here um say bonnie's in this camera people will shut their door because they'll think that that means that bonnie's outside but it's actually not true if you see bonnie or chica in these corners that doesn't mean that they um that doesn't mean that they are at your door. They, they, you can still um, keep your door open, and you will want to keep your door open. The way that you know when they're outside your door is gonna be through your light. Um, once you see them appear in your light, Chica, her, her face will appear over there. Bonnie, his face will appear right here. That's when you need to be careful. Um. Uh. So yeah, don't don't depend on the cameras. Actually, there's only really one to two cameras that we're going to be using um the second one we're not going to be using until the seventh night though so only really like one camera which if you know anything about five nights at freddy's you know that the camera is going to be this one cam 1c pirate cove don't worry about these other ones like you can see bonnie's gone he's in backstage right there but that doesn't matter that as all the only position that matters with bonnie is if he's outside your door <laughs> the other ones don't matter um, but for Pirate's Cove, you're gonna need to keep an eye on this one, and, and this is because Foxy lives in Pirate Cove, and let me actually make sure Bonnie doesn't kill me. Um, Foxy lives in Pirate Cove, and, uh, the only way, Foxy isn't like the other animatronics, where, um, the way how you keep him from killing you is by checking Pirate Cove and checking on him. Um, and he'll have certain stages that you'll see 
I don't know about this night, but you'll see definitely um, as the game progresses. But, like, let's see. There's Bonnie right there. So, he's in the West Hall. Um, so, yeah, that's cool. But you can see this is good. This means that Foxy, this is Foxy's first stage, I would call it, where you can see he's not even poking out of the Pirate Cove. He is completely intent. Um, but before we continue on with Foxy, I want to quickly get to work on some of the pathfinding things. So, Bonnie, who's the bunny, and the only one who's moved so far, he can only move from show stage, dining area, backstage, supply closet, which he's there right now, um, West Hall, West Hall Corner, and outside your left door over here. That's where Bonnie can. And Chica's basically, Chica's the chicken. Chica's basically the same, but Chica can go from show stage, dining area, restrooms, kitchen, East Hall, East Hall Corner, and your right door. There's Bonnie. Okay, so, um, you see, you saw how I didn't hesitate when Bonnie was outside my door, I just immediately closed it. That's what you want to do. And obviously, you might get a little bit startled when you're when it's your first time happening. It's okay. It happens to all of us. It's, it's just what it is. But you are going to want to try and get used to just immediately reacting as soon as you see something outside your door. And I'm glad I actually checked. Um, but yeah, that's their paths. And they can't go anywhere else. Um, they don't have to go in that specific order. Um, but th they can't go anywhere else other than that. And now you can see Bonnie is back in the West Hall. Um, but like Bonnie, for instance, he can't, he will never show up on this door and Chica will never show up on this door. It's, it's literally impossible. Okay. You, it, it will never happen. It's always one or the other. Um, you can see, see, here's actually a perfect example. So Bonnie's outside. There's pot. Oh my God. I'm going over so much fat, so fast right now. Okay, so Bonnie isn't there. Alright, so here's Foxy's second stage. This means that I'm not checking on him enough. Um, and yeah, so he's just kind of doing all that. Um, so just, I, I just need to make sure I keep checking on him a little bit more. Um, but other than that, the other thing you want to be use careful for is your power. Um, uh, be, be resourceful. And obviously, don't keep your door closed the entire night, and don't keep your um, light on for longer than there it needs to be. Uh, so yeah. Oh yeah. Also, I was gonna show you. So this is um, how you know. So you can see Bonnie's shadow right there. That means that he's still outside the door. So you don't want to open the door yet. Um, Chica's is a little bit more obvious. Um, okay, so she's in the East Hall. Chica's is more obvious which you'll see soon enough but yeah also okay that's foxy's last stage before he starts running out for you so i really need to uh check on him some more here um bonnie is still just sitting outside the door um you don't have to worry about freddy in this night freddy freddy's ai is set to zero so don't don't worry about him he will not he will not move at all and i think it's the first three nights or maybe it's night it's either night three or night four is when freddy's ai gets activated um but for the first couple nights you only have to worry about bonnie chica and foxy and bonnie and chica are pretty easy to deal with since you literally just have to check your lights and if they're there close your door so your main concern is going to want to be foxy so make sure you're checking pirate cove um sorry i've been going a little bit fast but i have a lot of stuff i wanted to cover in this video and uh uh, for some reason, the night feels, like, really fast. <laughs> it feels like I was hardly able, able to get over everything that I wanted to. Um, which is, it's alright. We can always cover more, uh, in the next night, which will be in the next video. But, um, I mean, yeah, this is, uh, this is pretty much the basics. Uh, so yeah, just keep checking your doors. It's very unlikely Chica will show up this night. And there we go, we won. So, it's very unlikely Chica will show up this night, but if she does, she will just show up on the right door. Just do the same thing you do for Bonnie, which is just close, close the door after you see her in the light. Um, and yeah, that's, that's it for the first video. I mean, just pay attention to your surroundings, and that's all it takes. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.